Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Ron Wills. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let fear stop you. I'm going to tell you what. One of the greatest things that stops people from really accomplishing something is fear. Fear. Fear of failure. Fear of making a mistake. Shoot, in some cases, even fear of success. Let me explain that uh, last one because I know it would seem um, contradictory to even say something like that. But some people are afraid to succeed because they realize if they succeed in particular areas, they would have more responsibility. But then they have fear of that responsibility. But it's fear, fear, fear. It keeps... It's fear that keeps people from going for their dreams. And regardless of the origin of the fear, it still comes down to fear. It, people are afraid to say hi to that mate that they are attracted to. Well, I shouldn't say mate, potential mate that they are attracted to. Uh, Fear of stepping out and maybe leaving the job or starting a business or even people who have maybe a business and they still have a regular job. They might have a fear of taking the next step in that business. It's so many angles. And I'm going to tell you what, fear is something, it's a serious matter. Many people are sick because of fear. Many people, because of the fear that they have, that actually makes them sick. I remember someone saying fear even lowers your IQ. Indeed, uh, fear is a weapon that many use. And I'm going to tell you what. You still have to fight it. You still have to fight it. And that's the one thing. See, I'm going to tell you what. True courage. True courage in life is... Not so much not having fear. Fear is normal. Fear means you're thinking about things. So that's normal. But when you let it stop you, that's a problem. Courage is overcoming your fear. You might have a fear of something, but you still have to go through it. You still have to overcome it. Imagine if uh, one day your home is on fire and you have a child in there. Yes, you have a fear of being burned and everything. You have a fear of losing your life, but... You also have a fear of losing your child. You get over that fear. You, you'll fight through that fire. Many people have braved. They have braved circumstances. They have stood up to people. Because yes, they had that fear, but they overcame it. See, that's the thing. You have to overcome that fear. If you have a fear of uh, starting a business. If you have a fear of starting your business, think about something. You have a calling towards that business. It's courage to go through anyway. And yes, it's not going to be perfect. Yes, there's going to be some times that you stumble. But you got to have the courage to keep going anyway. You have to, if you're talking about your dream, whatever your dream is. Yeah, there's a fear that you might not be able to make it. And I've seen that with a lot of people. There's a, there's a fear you might not succeed. And indeed, I'll get into that fear of success in a second again. But there's a fear, but you have to go for it anyway. That's your dream. That's your dream. Because once you overcome it, you, you get joy. And then that fear of success. I wanted to address that again. You have some people just scared to be successful. And I've seen that. They have all the talent in the world, but they don't want to deal with the responsibility that comes with it. They don't want to come. They don't want to deal with it. I've known of people who... Honestly, they didn't want to succeed to the level that they could because they were actually scared of being alone. That's how deep it is. I mean, it's so many levels. But you know what? You have to fight it. You have to fight it. I'm gonna, look, I'm going to share something personal with me. Now, fear hasn't been a, well, fear hasn't been a big thing with me, but I've had it because I'm human. But you just fight. Fight it, fight it, because there's been times I've been slowed down by like certain di different fears. But you know what? I fought it. You know, I just imagine myself. I imagine the fear as uh, as an individual being, and I go, I go right to it. I'll be like, Nah, I'm kicking your butt. See, the thing is, once you conquer your fears, you can live that dream. Once you conquer your fears, you can go talk to. 
that person you're attracted to and let them know how you feel, or at least try. And I'm going to talk about that try thing overall in a second. If you if you face your fears, hey, you can probably make the money you need to make. Shoot, you face your fears, you can walk into your human resources and say, look, this is what I'm doing. I need to make more money. It's a very simple thing. Or if I don't make that money or you let me go, uh, I'm going to face that fear. And see, that's the thing. A lot of people have those fears. A lot of people have those fears. And, you know, in the whole thing with uh, just trying, just trying, you know, just trying. It's like you, you, you can't have a fear of not trying something. That's very important. You have to go for it. You have to go for it. Think about the life that you want to live. Think about it. Because once you fight those fears, once you overcome it, you get to live the life of your dreams. Because you have to try. You at least have to try. And even if you fail in trying, even if you fail, there's no shame in that. At least you tried it. Because then you learn what works and what doesn't work. But see, a lot of people don't even get to that point because of the fear. And you have to fight it. it it's tough. It, it is tough. Here's what I would say. If you have to take small steps, go for it. If you have to take small steps, go for it. Like say you have a fear, like say you're in the gym and you know you want to lift 300 pounds. You have a fear that you won't be able to do it. Don't start with 300. Start with 100 pounds. Start with 50 if you have to. Build up to it. One way to really uh, face your fears is to take small steps, gain some confidence. And then as you take those small steps, you notice those steps are getting longer. The stride is getting longer. After a while, you're just jogging. After a while, you're running. After a while, you're sprinting. And that's the key. But whatever the case, don't let, don't, look, just live in life, whatever you want to do. Yes, you're going to have those fears, but you got to face them. You have to fight them and you have to conquer them. You have to have the courage. That's true courage in facing your fears and overcoming it and doing what you have to do for happiness in life. So I want y'all to really take that to heart. Don't let fear stop you. Y'all have a great Sunday morning. Peace and many blessings.